What's up everyone, Art here with NoCode Devs. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can generate dozens of blog articles for your website or blog in a matter of minutes using automation. We're gonna use OpenAI, Zapier, and Google Sheets to do our keyword research and then generate these articles automatically based upon the inputs from our keyword research. Super cool, it'll only take a few minutes, so let's dive in and show you how it all works. All right, let's go ahead and dive in and show you how I did this. First thing that we're gonna do is head over to openai.com. You create an account, you can use the GPT-4 if you're paying for it or the 3.5 model for free, either one should work. What I'm gonna put in here is generate a list of 25 SEO keywords related to no code software development. I'll go ahead and hit run and it's actually gonna spit out this nice list of SEO friendly keywords related to the topic of our choosing. Of course, you could use any topic that you wanted here, but for our purposes, that's what we're gonna use is no code software development. Once we get our list, we're actually gonna to wanna to get a short little excerpt for each of these to give it more context whenever we go and generate our blog article. So what I'm gonna post in here is write a short expert for each. So now what it's gonna go ahead and do, it's gonna actually append a nice little expert or summary of what of these each articles might be about. Once it's done doing this, we're gonna to need to get it in a format that we can then put into our computer and output into our automation. So let this run through. And our next prompt is actually gonna to be to put this in a CSV format. The reason that we're gonna do that is because we're gonna to want to upload this to a Google Sheet so that we can then run our automation. So just one more second here, this is almost done. Okay, so it's all done. So now we're gonna expand on our prompting here and say, put this in a CSV format for all 25 items. Let's say for all 25 items. Sometimes if you don't specify that you want all 25 in there, it will actually only do a few as a preview so you don't get your full output. So I wanted to be clear and let it know that I wanted all 25 items in a CSV format. This is still running, it'll take just a second Depending on the day, it could take longer or go faster. So we'll just let this finish up and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so we have our file outputted. What you can actually do here is click copy this code. And then I'm actually gonna head over to Excel. You might be able to skip this step and go right to Google Sheets, but I know how to do it in Excel. So I'm gonna do it here. And you can actually paste this format right into Excel. So you can use the text import wizard. And this will just basically bring in data that's delimited. So we'll hit next. And we want to use a comma here because our text is broken up by comma. So if I come back here, I can say comma and I can hit next and finish. And there are all of our articles with the keyword and expert. I'm pasted this in the wrong spot. I'll put it here though. So now we have in a nicely formatted file, our keyword with our excerpts. So. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop over to Google Sheets. I'm gonna copy this. I just created a new Google Sheet with some titles, keyword, excerpt, and full article. I'm gonna go ahead and paste one of these in here as an example so that we have some example data to work with. Now, once we're done, our full article will actually be outputted here. So for our next step, we're gonna actually head on over to zapier.com. Zapier is an automation tool. You can build all kinds of different automations. It connects to 3000 apps. So there's a ton that you can do. We're going to create an automation to automatically generate blog posts from these titles and excerpts. Okay, so now that we're in Zapier, we're gonna hit this big button here to create a new Zap. And this is where we're gonna connect things together to make this automation happen. So the first step is our trigger step and our trigger this is where it looks for new data. And when that finds that new data, it's gonna trigger this whole automation flow. So our first trigger is gonna be within Google Sheets. We wanna choose an event and we want a new or updated spreadsheet row. And this will trigger instantly anytime there's a new row. We'll hit continue. Which account do we wanna to connect to? We wanna use our no code devs account. We'll hit continue. This is where you have to choose your spreadsheet. We're going to want to choose our blog automation spreadsheet as you can see that's the name of this spreadsheet here so it just pops right up which worksheet are we going to want to use we're going to use sheet one that is the sheet one down here if you had multiple sheets they would be available there to select and then trigger can be any column so we want that to be 
the same. We don't want to change this. Any column will trigger this automation to take effect. So let's go ahead and test our trigger. Okay, and it found the one row of data that we have, no code software development. And then here's the quick summary of that blog title SEO keyword. So let's go ahead and continue with the second record. And what do we want to do next? We want to actually search for OpenAI and we want to send a prompt whenever it finds a new row. So we'll go ahead and we have to link our account. I'll just go ahead and choose it. If you don't have it connected as a one click connect, it's super easy. And here we go. This is where we're going to actually put in our prompt and tell the automation exactly what we want to do to generate our article. So I've already written some of this out. So we're just going to say write an article about and then we're going to want to use our keyword so we can actually pull in our keyword from the first step. And then we'll say including subtitles and including subtitles that use HTML for markup forwarding, use this summary for context. And we want to actually use the excerpt as as context to generate this blog article. We can adjust some of these temperature settings. We're going to keep that the same max length. I'll do 3000. You could play with all of these settings to get the output that you prefer. But for the sake of example, I'm going to keep this pretty basic. We don't need to change anything else. So we can go ahead and click continue and we can test our action. See what happens here. It's going to take just a minute because it's actually going to create this content for us with the HTML that we requested. So once this done, we should actually see an output here in this app sequence. We should see what our article ultimately will look like. Okay, and it's done. So we have our article. It's nicely formatted with H1, H2 tags into different sections. What is no code software development, solutions for business, the future of software development, and the conclusion. Perfect. So we're not done here. So now that we got this data, we actually want to put it back in our spreadsheet so that we can then have it all in one place as a central database. You could even take a step further and just send this data directly to your blog software, whether it be like WordPress or Ghost or Editor X or something like that. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to put it right into our spreadsheet by adding another step. And I'll show you how this works. So now we're actually going to add another action and we're going to do sheets again. So let's just go ahead and choose sheets. And what do we want to do? We want to actually update a spreadsheet row because we want to put our result right here in this full article column. I'll show you what this looks like. So we want to update a spreadsheet row. We're still connected to the same Google Sheets account. Hit continue. Which drive? My Google Drive. Which spreadsheet? Blog automation spreadsheet. Which worksheet? Sheet one. Okay, now which row? This is where you actually have to pull in the row ID from the first step. So every time this runs, it's going to know which row it's running for and then update that respective row in your Google Sheet. So the keyword and the excerpt aren't going to change, but the full article, we're actually going to grab the result here, the response from OpenAI and have this sync through. So here's our full article. Let's go ahead and test. We hop over here and we should actually see our full article with all of the HTML tags plopped right into this spreadsheet. So now if we were to go back to our Excel spreadsheet, we could simply grab all of these keywords and excerpts, plop them in here, and the articles will be automatically written for us in a matter of minutes. So you could do this at scale with hundreds of articles if you would like. Of course, you might need to read through the actual contents that generated, tweak it, edit a little bit, that sort of thing. But you can see how you can quickly scale this up and generate all kinds of content just from keywords that were generated by chat GPT. You could even take it a step further and add another step, for instance, to generate images, which I think would be pretty cool. So you could generate an image for each article based on the keyword, something like that. So you could have an image for each article if you wanted and you put that image as well in the spreadsheet. So there's a ton that you could do, but I just wanted to show you how quick and easy this is to get this all set up. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this, this step. Okay, and then when you're done, you simply just publish your zap. Once it's published, this will work automatically anytime 
you add a new keyword and excerpt into the sheet. So you could just have somebody in your marketing team constantly updating keywords and excerpts, and it'll generate articles for you that then you can publish directly to a blog or you can edit them, whatever you want to do. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them into the comments and be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks so much.